Hey everyone, this is a trader investor coming to you on the second week of February. Today there was no real uh, trade setups, uh, especially when you're looking at the broader market. So I wanted to talk about that. So today was an inside day, and for you strat traders, it's scenario one. Today was a one on uh, multiple time frames. Actually, interestingly, so your uh, daily is an inside day your weekly is an inside week your monthly is an inside month all three higher time frames are uh, inside and you can see it in my indicator down here all three are inside so today i was looking at the break of uh, friday's high to have a two up day that didn't happen Right, so I, I, that's why I marked this just for my own reference. So everything is an inside day. So when it's an inside day, when it's an inside day or inside week, inside months, uh, what we do is we trade the break of that inside bar. Now for weekly and monthly, we don't look at this current bar because the current bar has not closed yet. So we don't know if this week is going to end up being a two up, a two down, a three, or it will remain a one. We don't know until Friday. So mainly we're going to focus on the daily for now, daily and hourly for now, to see which way the market will break. But at the break of the inside bar is where we pull the trigger. This is where we pull the trigger. So uh, never mind the weekly two up because this daily bar will close uh tomorrow so the first day of the week it shows the previous week's uh position so previous week was a two up uh the previous uh week was a two up but the monthly still was uh, it's still an inside bar so today what do we need to see for any action for tomorrow so we can take this out and now we see a break of either side a break of either side uh, daily pivot to the upside or a break to the downside our daily pivot to the downside when we break either one of these tomorrow is where we have direction is where we have direction now we're above the 38.2 percent retracement from the last push up we're below the 70% retracement from the last push down. So we have yet to break the 70%. That's where this line is. It's 70% of this push down. Uh, it's actually from here, from here to here, 70%. But on the push up, we are pulling back to the 38.2%, which is a healthy pullback. And now if we are going to break above the daily uh, pivot high, then we create a two up. Or we might even start with a two down and turn it into a three and continue to push our way up. Right? We only trade what we see. So right now we are just in the preparation mode. We are preparing for that action. Uh, Ukraine, Russia standoff is weighing heavy uh, on the markets. So that's why you're not seeing a lot of action up or down. It's not heavy enough to where it's pushing it down. It's not light enough to where it's pushing it up. Uh, it's just balancing it out and you know right here nobody knows what they want right bulls are not in charge bears are not in charge we're staying in between so even if we look at the cues same thing uh, an inside bar we look at iwm iwm two up iwm is two up now i still have this zone i still want to break this zone for me to feel comfortable for the broader market to start to push up significantly but for now uh, at least iwm had a two up uh, but with a hammer right with an inverted hammer so not a very convincing two up uh, diamonds were at some point kind of the weakest and then they be you know they turned out to be positive but still an inside bar scenario one so tomorrow we shall see which way the markets want to break we will use our hourly chart as always as we break this high 
So if I just need to write properly here. So we break the high of today or the low of today. That's where we'll have uh, direction near the 38.2% retracement or clearing this supply zone. We have not really cleared the supply zone. It actually became a strong supply zone at the 70% retracement mark I mentioned earlier. It's a, a strong supply zone, not that strong because if there were a lot of institutions pushing price down, we would have gone way below the 38.2% retracement. So it's a shallow pullback yet to be seen, lower high, but higher low as well. So let's be prepared, let's be patient. I took no trade today because it's an inside day on an inside bars. I am not taking any position. I'm just positioning myself to take advantage of the next bar, right? The next bar depending on your time frame. On a daily time frame is tomorrow, on an hourly time frame is the next hour. Or on a weekly time frame is next week and uh, so on and so forth. Right now for me, I want to see the, the hourly, of course, is going to lead us to get that uh, break of uh, the inside bar for the daily. The hourly is going to lead us. Hourly is, has been a very, very choppy sideways market. Uh, not even a whole lot of range. Uh, even if we look at the range of today, high to low, 450 to 445, right? 451 to 446, roughly. So it's a $5 range. Five dollars and change so not a whole lot of range there so very little range so so tomorrow we just have to be patient right? we just have to be patient and see which way the markets are going to uh, push us up as we prepare for the day tomorrow morning we can just start to look at the futures and see which way they're heading right now pretty much flat all right everyone I just wanted to do this uh, quick short video to give you an update and Get your mind set when there's scenario one for strat traders or for everybody else when you have an inside bar. What do you do? How do you prepare? How do you not get in front of a train that does not know what it wants to do? So is it going to crush you? Is it going to back away from you? When you don't know that, just stay away. Stay away. Stay away. That's what I want to do. All right, everyone. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.